So I'm coming out here to pull these garlics. I got a couple that are leaning here on the left side. I think I'm gonna leave the rest of it in, but these ones that are leaning are gonna come out. I thought I might as well take you guys along. You can see what's happening out here. So right here, that's kohlrabi. And then behind that is beets and there's a tub with some extra pumpkins that I had too many of in one spot and I just pulled them all out and threw them in there but they're going to town. I think there's seven pumpkins in there. I'm still planning on relocating them somewhere else. And behind there there's beets, red onions, white onions. I'm so impressed with my onions this year. Uh, sage, potato, some thyme, and then these are a lemon balm and a what is it, catnip chives. Yeah, the deal with my onions, I started my own onion seeds like in February and they all died. So kind of last minute I ordered some onion plants online through Dixondale and I think we're gonna do that from here on out. These ones are the smallest ones that I have going. These ones over here are just massive and I noticed today they're falling over already. So that's cool, they're getting ready to be done. Let's go look at the backside here. These ones are Patterson. I don't know if you can see in there. But they're starting to bulb up. You can see on the other side there, the fence. A lot of them are baseball size. And there's the white ones. These ones are called ringside. And then the red ones are called Red River, it says. I don't think they're getting enough water. They're just not doing as well as everybody else here. Raspberries. This is just a large pot we had we put potatoes in. A lot of the onions that are in here were overwintered from last year. And we've been eating from those. That's why there's lots of holes. More garlic. And anything that's leaning over, I'm going to be pulling. This is music, mostly music. There's two rows on this end that are not music. One is uh, Russian red, and the other one is German white. So this row is Russian red, this row is German white. The rest of these are music. And then I did some potato onions that are in here. And then those are shallots. And blueberry plants. Then down this side, we've got leeks in that far corner. And then celery. Oh, looks like I got a few radishes in there that are flowering that got left behind. We had radishes planted in between when the celery was young. It looks like we forgot a few. There's some flowers in here. That is a radish flower. Potatoes. I've got lettuce, beets, more lettuce, a dill. There's some beets in between there. And this end is parsley. That is going to seed. I want to pull that out. And then potatoes back here in pots. Asparagus. And then these are, what variety is this? I'll look and see here. More scarlet runner beans. And there's a snake in here. I always kind of watch my step. <laughs> I don't want it to jump out and scare me. But look at these are falling over. What are these called? These are not Patterson, they are called Highlander, or what these ones are. Just have never had such success with onions ever. And we eat a ton of onions. 
And these are gonna be stored with our freeze dryer. So none of these will go to waste. Let's go over here and see these garlics are kind of, they're about done. But the ones here on the right side are leaning. I'm gonna get those out before they split. And this is where I saw the snake last. He was in this box. I hope to not see him today. I see any. Oh my gosh, that's a nice one. I don't see any splitting. This one is Georgian Fire, is the variety. Yeah, I think these are done for sure. If I leave them in any longer, they'll start splitting. The wrappers will. So these ones are coming out. This one is leaning. This one is leaning. Yeah, beautiful. Garlic is my favorite thing to grow. These I planted, I think in November. It's kind of late getting them in the ground. Is that one split? Let me see. No, I don't think so. We had um, snow coming, and these were all gonna be planted in the dirt garden, but I ran out of time. It started getting freezing temperatures, and so I just threw them in this bed. It turned out perfect. Now this back here is where the snake was, <laughs> and I'm scared of him. these out for a turn of sprinkler on. I'm trying to see if there are any other ones that are leaning. These two kind of are. That one is. Yeah, I think these are definitely. Oh boy. I must have laid an egg. I think that's it from here. I'm gonna leave the rest. Should I take this one? It's kind of leaning. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, this one too. Yeah, I'll probably come back out in another, maybe the end of this week, and then get the rest of them. Just trying to see if anybody's leaning. That one in the back there is kind of leaning. Well, I think that's enough for now. It's going with Karabi because it's doing anything. Uh, I don't see any folding. It's planted heavy in there. I need to thin it down. So now I have, I don't know how many I have here, but I'm going to take this brush and just brush the dirt off of them and then lay them in the shade here on this table. Okay, so I got them all brushed and got the dirt off the roots. Last year we cut here and we cut that off. And the store, it didn't store as well. My puppy's barking. Or whining, I should say. Um, 
The majority of these are gonna go in the freeze dryer, but I do need to keep them until I get all my garlic pulled so I know what seed stock I'm gonna put back on the ground for next year. So for now, these are just gonna lay out on this bucket in the shade. And then tonight I will bring them in and put them in the garage. I'm not gonna leave them out. We have predators. Bear, cougar, bobcat, stray cat, feral cat. Okay, so there. These are <laughs> these are gonna stay outside for right now and just kind of air out. Like I said, we're gonna leave these on for a little bit and leave the greens on. People say it helps develop the flavor. And I do believe I'm going to have to pull the rest of that box because there is some, not signs of like full on splitting, but yeah, if I leave it in any longer, it could, it could lose my, all of it. At least the ones on the far left side of that box. I think the, rest, the right side seems a little bit too green to pull yet, but we'll see. Okay, this is my greenhouse. I have tomatoes and peppers in here. And they're doing very well. These ones have lots of peppers on them. They're not very big, but they all have peppers on them. And this, mainly down here towards the end of this row is uh, paste tomatoes. These ones are Amish paste. I think I got a big one in here. Amish paste. These are Marianas. And then San Marzano. Let's see if we see that. I think San Marzano. Or that's a San Marzano. This one I don't see oh, here. San Marzano's and a Thai basil. This one is called Dad's Sunset. And this one is called uh, Tidy Treats. A little cherry one I ended up putting in here. And these are starts for once my um, garlic comes out. These starts are gonna go in those spots. And then more peppers. And underneath here, there is peppers. I need to stake up these tomato plants. They're going a little crazy. I think this one looks like a tidy treat one. And the one behind it is um, a pole sun gold, I believe. And some basil. Okay, so this is my third garden space. This is an in-ground space with the black plastic on top to control the weeds because they're crazy as you can see on that side where there is no black plastic um, this is a broccoli I've never been able to grow broccoli but this year we have gotten a lot of broccoli already this one had a big huge head on it that's cut off we leave the plant in for the side shoots this one's getting a head on it and look at the size of this one this is a first for us. Where we live, usually it, the plant grows and then it bolts, and then that's the end of it. But I have a lot of side shoots coming on. I need to pull a big weed and some cabbage down there that's turning into a, a head and then some garlic. This is more Georgian fire. And then these tomatoes. What we do with our cherry tomatoes when we have excess of them is make ketchup, which is amazing. This is another tidy treat, another tidy treat. These are Jacob cattle beans. Uh, the, the bunny came in and wiped them out, wiped out a lot of my beans. This one is a 
called pineapple. And this one, I don't know, might be another pineapple. Yeah, those two are pineapple. And these cherry ones, those are all the tidy treats. Uh, it's really coming on. I don't know what variety that is. Uh, Ru Rugers? Rooters. Those are nice ones. I didn't really notice those ones yet. Um, let's see. This one is the Kellogg's breakfast. I think I got this one off of M.I. Gardner, off his sale that he had, I can't remember, was it like in November or something? This one, Kellogg's too, Kellogg's breakfast, and this grouping of four, one, two, four, these are all Sun Golds. And I had my first tomato last night off of that vine. And these ones over here are turning. And these, where the grass is coming through, a rabbit came through and ate the green beans that I had started. These are jade beans and they're doing great. And the rabbit has not eaten them yet. And those are carrots in a box. This is a nice broccoli. And another one. And these cabbages, I think I need to get more neem oil in there. They just kind of look a little bit buggy to me. This is where I started planting the garlic and it was pouring, it was snowing. I had to, I didn't have the burner to cut the holes. I was cutting them with scissors. It was just a nightmare. It was muddy mess. That's why the rest of them ended up in the garden boxes down below. Then this variety of garlic that's quite short is, um, I don't know what it is. It's something I picked up at a farmer's market and I planted it the last two years and I really like it this year. It seems like it's really tiny. I don't know if it's gonna be good anymore. Okay, that was a cauliflower. A cauliflower that looks terrible. The moles have been pushing up, but these two cauliflowers look great. So hopefully I'll get those two. Now this whole grouping, like from here on, those are all um, Roma tomatoes. Except for that back one, I don't know what that one is. It's probably one of those tidy treats. If something died, I've replaced it with whatever I had and it, those tidy treats just had great germination. So they did end up everywhere. That even, I don't know what those are. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, the majority of these are those bush romas. I think they're indeterminate or no determinate. And that is who gets kissed sweet corn had sparse germination there. Up over in that corner, can't really see it. I put in black zucchini seeds because the black zucchini I started in the house, I only got one that germinated. So then when I, I just went out here in that hillside before it was, the weeds grew, um, just put in a bunch of seeds and they all germinated. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. And then those are sunflowers. And look at this field on the other side of this fence. This used to be where pigs were at. I did not plant daisies in there. It's just this one section went crazy with daisies. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. So up on this mud hillside is where I just plunked in pumpkin seeds. And some also uh, sunflowers are in there too. I don't know if they've come up yet. 
And this is where I pulled out those other pumpkins. There's just too, way too many in here. Everybody germinated. Uh, cucumbers are on this trellis. That is the one black zucchini that I started in the house that survived. And then the rest of those are um, a yellow zucchini. It's called Cuba Butter from Botanical Interest. And then they all have zucchinis on them. And then more tomatoes. I think this one over here, this is Manitoba. I think these three are all Manitoba. Then there's a pepper I put out here just to try. How it would do outside, it's that you can't even see it. See the rabbit damage. Caught them too. There were two of them in here. So we ended up putting chicken wire all around the fence, all the way around this thing, and they still got in. So I don't know. If I get a crop of beans, it'll be a surprise. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching.